Okay, for the next problem, we have number 13. So, in number 13, we have x is equal to the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of y. So, again, we will derive in the x function with respect to y. So, there is equal to dx over dy is equal to the derivative of the square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus square root of y. So, there is equal to 1 over 2 square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus square root of y. Okay, multiply by the derivative of this. Okay? Derivative of 1 plus square root of 1 plus square root of y. So, there is equal to 0 plus 1 over 2 square root of 1 plus square root of y. Okay, multiply by derivative of 1 plus square root of y. So, there is equal to 1, okay, over 2 square root of y. Okay, multiply the derivative y is equal to 1. So, let's simplify this one. So, there is equal to dx over dy is equal to 1 all over by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 or 2 cubed is equal to 8, okay, square root of y. Okay, multiply by the square root of 1 plus square root of y. Multiply by the square root of, okay, 1 plus square root of 1 plus square root of y. So, under the inverse function law, or inverse function rule, the dy over dx is equal to 1 over dx over dy. So, there is equal to 1 over 8 square root of y, square root of 1 plus square root of y, square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus square root of y. So, totally, magiging numerator lang to. So, the final answer for the dy over dx is equal to 8 square root of y square root of 1 plus square root of y okay multiply by the square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus square root of y so ito na yung final answer so again our last problem under the the inverse function rule is x is equal to okay 2y plus 1 all over by 3y minus 1 raised to 4. So, we will derive in this uh, equation with respect to y. So, there is equal to dx over dy. Okay, the, the rule na gagamitin natin dito is combination of the power rule and the quotient rule. So, there is equal to 4 okay 2x I mean, at 2y okay, plus 1 all over by 3y minus 1 raised to 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 multiplied by the derivative of 2y plus 1 all over by 3y minus 1. So, there is equal to 3y minus 1 multiplied by the derivative of 2y plus 1 is equal to 2 minus 2y plus 1. Okay, multiply by the derivative of the denominator which is equal to 3. All over by 3y minus 1 squared. So, uh, let us uh, simplify this one. So, the dx over dy is equal to 4 multiplied by 2y plus 1 all over by 3y minus 1 raised to 3. Okay, multiply by okay, uh, 2 multiplied by 3y is 6y minus 2 okay, minus okay, 3 multiplied by 2y is equal to 6y minus 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 all over by 3y minus 1 squared. So, cancellation of 6y. 6y minus 6y is equal to 0. So, this is equal to negative 5. Negative 2 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 5. So, negative 5 multiplied by 4 is equal to negative 20. Negative 20 multiplied by 2y plus 1 cube all over by 3y minus 1. 3y minus 1 cube plus multiply by 3y minus 1 squared is equal to 3y minus 5. I mean, 3y minus 1 raised to 5. So, ito na yung simplified value or simplified form ng dy of dx over dy natin. So, negative 20 multiply by 2y plus 1 all over by, I mean, cube all over by 3y minus 1 cube. I mean, raised to 5. So, again, under the inverse function rule, d11 the dy over dx is equal to 1 over dx over dy so there is equal to 1 over negative 20 multiply by 2y plus 1 cube all over by 3y minus 1 
okay, raised to 5. Or, this is also equal to negative, okay, 3y minus 1, minus 1, raised to 5, all over by 20, okay, multiply by 2y plus 1 cubed. So, this is the final answer. So, this is the end of our discussion under the inverse function rule. I hope you learned something and if you are new here, don't forget to click the like button and hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell for you to be notified in our future uploads. I will see you in our next videos. Okay, goodbye.